Pop in a Pez candy and experience a part of pop culture. Nostalgic characters from movies, TV, and comics continue to spit out these tiny candies and bring back memories. When people think of Pez, I want them to think about fun. Think about their childhood and think about what made their childhood fun. Nowadays, Pez rolls out more than 100 million dispensers around the world every year. Did you know the very first Pez dispensers weren't for kids at all? Believe it or not, a man from Austria originally designed it for smokers. The concept came into being uh, because of Edward Haas III. Uh, he really was interested in helping smokers stop smoking, so he developed something that looked like a cigarette lighter, strangely what Pez looks like today. Instead of candy, strong mints were inside the container, which is how Pez gets its name. He used peppermint, and in German, Peppermints is Pfeffermans. So there's a first letter is a P, the middle letter is an E, and the last letter is a Z. Very simple acronym. Pez's popularity began to soar in the U.S. when the lighter was changed to a collectible candy dispenser in the mid-1950s. Can you guess what character was first to go on top? We think it was Mickey was the first dispenser. Since then, thousands of Pez heads have become fan favorites. Ever wonder how they choose the characters? Very simply, we're nostalgic. So to pick things, I've got, I've got to say it's what's fun today, what seems to be very popular. Pez artists carefully sculpt the new designs and create a model called a resin. From that resin, uh, we'll then have approvals made. We'll go to Disney, we'll go to Marvel, and we'll say, how does that character fit? In this particular case, it's Elvis. From there, they paint the resin, and the characters move to the molding process in factories overseas. The, the period that it really takes for a Pez product to be produced from concept uh, to first production samples could be as much as a year. While the candy holders grab a lot of attention, you can't forget about the sweet treats inside. Get this, more than 25 flavors come out of a machine that can also make medicine. This machine is a pharmaceutical style tablet press. It's the same type of machine that would make aspirins and vitamin tablets. The candy begins as fine powdery sugar that swirls around inside a giant cylinder called a granulator. And then we spray corn syrup and water in a very fine mist and that makes it form back into a granular. A small amount of coloring goes into each 600 pound batch. Once it's ready, the giant batch raises up and prepares for pressing time. The hole is filled with powder. The top punch then comes down on the top, puts about 3,000 pounds of pressure in it. And then the bottom punch comes up and the tablet is released. Listen to this, Pez churns out half a million tasty tablets every hour. After the tablets are formed, they go into buckets that have uh, a UPC code on it. They go directly to the wrapping stage. The candy travels from giant hoppers to conveyors. Then they get in line for a paper wrapper. This machine does 360 rolls per minute. Each roll contains 12 tablets. Soon they meet other rolls for packaging. Check this out. A small camera makes sure each Pez logo faces the same direction before stacking together. The ones in the wrong direction go to a turning post, which puts them in the correct direction. Next, little suction cups carefully place the candy rolls into packages. They add the dispensers by hand before heading out to stores everywhere. Want to guess which Pez head remains the most popular? Our number one dispenser still to this day is Santa Claus. Whether a jolly elf, superhero, or the king of rock and roll, this is one candy kids and adults love to spit out before popping them in their own mouths.